What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of King Customs. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ryan, so thank you so much for joining. And if you've been a subscriber, please continue watching and I thank you so much for being here. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And also, for the YouTube algorithm, please smash that like button. It's gonna help soar this channel to a whole new level. Now, finally, I got some good news. I've been called and found out that Headmasters have finally finished doing what they need to do with my block and my head. So now I'm gonna go pick it up right now. And this is where we're gonna hit the bad news. Unfortunately, Toyota has not received certain parts that I need. But there is stuff that I can do to assemble the motor and you're just going to see what I can do in this episode. So let's go pick that up right now. Alrighty guys, so this is kind of embarrassing. I picked up the motor, I picked up the head and the crank from the machine shop. And here's what happened. So when I picked it up, I had it in a bin. One of the bins, I guess it's pl the one of the bins is plastic. So being in the cold, it probably was weirdly frozen and as soon as I put the block in there and I picked it up and was walking outside it just cracked and the block fell to the floor I looked at the block I didn't see any cracks thank goodness I'm gonna observe it a little more closely when I get home because honestly that's my fault so I can't really blame them for that but I hope to god nothing is wrong with it I hope it's good and um yeah so right now i'm headed home back to the headquarters and we are gonna start assembling what we can i'll see you when we get there what's up guys so we are back at the headquarters and we have some bad news again um so remember when i told you i dropped the engine block well there are there's some pitting where the uh rod journal's gotta go and um for the crank and i have to try to f file that without damaging anything the best I can. It's not a crazy damage, so I just gotta file it down, so I'm gonna show you. But this is the bin. Well, this is one of the bins. The other bin that actually held the block in it broke because it's so cold that it was brittle and it fell right through, and I had no idea. And um, this one is good. It's just holding the head and stuff, so that didn't break. But the one that was holding the block was so brittle, it just, broke and dropped everything and here is here's the block i put it on the stand already but let me sh let me show you exactly where it's messed up so if you can see right here there is a pitting there but it just happened to be outside on the uh rod the journal itself so there's no damage in here i just have to file this little lip here so the bearing can sit flush and then I might have to file up here so when I put down my pan, my upper oil pan, it'll sit flush and not cause any issues. Um, and there's one more spot on this as well. And that is right here. Right there. See that little lip? I gotta file that down. And thank goodness it only hit on the outside here so it's not something crazy. Let's hope it's not something crazy. Um, th uh, uh, this is my luck, so, um, all I can do is file it and hopefully nothing bad happens again and we just have a smooth sailing. Um, I don't think anything should happen once I file this down, so I'm gonna get right to it and start filing. So far, so good. It looks like it's coming along smoothly. I pray that this does not do anything wrong, um, but it's pretty much morphed back into shape and I believe that the bearings are gonna fit in smoothly. Only time will tell. There's no point in worrying about this now. We just gotta move forward and make sure that everything's smoothened out and filed. So after I file this, I have some 400 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna rub it through the journal real quick, make sure that everything is okay, and then clean it up and begin assembly. Okay, so this is great. So I finally finished filing it down using the 400 grit sandpaper. Thanks, Peter, for the suggestion. And um, it is completely smooth. Looks like nothing ever happened. And I'm just overall really happy with it. And I believe that the bearings are going to sit completely flush. 
So the only thing left to do is let's get started with the assembly. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do now is use the engine tech um, crank bearings and I'm gonna put them in on the journal. So we're gonna put these in dry and then lubricate the top, drop our crank down and put on our upper oil pan and go from there. So let's do it. Our beautifully wrapped crank. Look how beautiful this is. Polished and looking new. Let's pop this sucker in. So now that the crank is sitting here, what I noticed is I actually have to put the rods in first and the rods will hold us down then I can put the upper oil pan because once I put the upper oil pan in then I'm not going to get comfortable access to my rods so looks like we're going to have to put the rods in and then work on the upper oil pan Alrighty guys, so that is gonna conclude everything for tonight. We got on the head, we got on the entire bottom half. All that's left is the parts from Toyota, so I guess tomorrow we'll be working on the timing components, the water pump, all the little accessories in the front, uh, making sure we time our motor, getting all the valve covers and everything on top. And that should be it and then this sucker is gonna go right back in here But before that we're gonna paint the motor and we also have some stuff to do on the transmission as well So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I showed you here so far today So please make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and also if you're not a subscriber Please consider subscribing. See y'all tomorrow. Peace